Okay, I'm back out fresh. You are now rocking with the biggest here at the Speak On It podcast. Today is a very special episode. We got some good information for y'all. I'm sitting down with Miss Monica Wallace. Okay, mm-hmm. introduce yourself, sweetheart. Hi, I'm Monica Wallace with Nicole Handy Team with Brighton Real Estate Group. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and that's who I am. Okay, okay. We appreciate you coming through. So this is basically our first, you know, business savvy. We trying to get a message out there type of podcast episode. Right. So I appreciate you coming through. Thank you, you know. for having me. Oh, yeah, most definitely. So let's dive into it. So you are a realtor, am I mm-hmm. correct? So how long correct. you been doing that? I'm in my fourth year. Fourth year? Yeah. You like it? I love it. I fell in love with it maybe two years ago. At okay. first, it was like, but now I'm in love with it. Okay. What made you get out of trial? Like, how you get into that? Um, I have a cousin who's been doing it, I think, like 16 years now. She's mm. like, you'll be perfect. Because my sales background. Mm. And then I had just had my second daughter. Mm. And she was like, you get to make your own schedule and all that. And I fell in love with that. Um, It's like you're your own boss, kind of, sort of. I am my own boss. Oh, yeah. I'll say that then. Yeah, there we go. (laughs) Yeah, but that's why I got into it originally. Okay. That's Mm -hmm. dope. So, four years, that's why you got into it. Hmm, Originally. So, what were you doing before that? You say you were in sales? Sales, call center. Okay. Okay. Um, I worked at... A, a few of them. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had already developed the skills on how to talk to people. Yeah, yeah, um, I know that's important. The patience, right? Because right, you mm-hmm. need that. Um, and that's essentially what I was doing over the phone for the okay. most part. That's dope, though. I like that. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, so you kind of got a little taste of dealing with irate customers or, you know, From people that's not satisfied or people that's. Lost and confused. A- that part. Because that's definitely what's going on. A lot of times when people want to buy these houses or buy property, they mm-hmm. just kind of lost just a, um, and they need you to hold their hand the whole way. That is true. So you got to be prepared for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it seems like you are. It seems like you are prepared for that since you say you know how to communicate. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Cause so so you deal with first-time buyers, of course. I do. So is there like, um, like a certain type of person you're looking for or does it matter like this say, Okay, if I come to you and I don't have any money in the bank, can mm-hmm. I still come deal with you? Can you help me or you at least can. lead me in the right way? Right. So I would essentially create a plan for you. There you know, go. it's wise to have something saved up, mm-hmm. even though there are communities that will actually pay you to mm-hmm. move in. You still have to make sure you have funds for uh, like earnest money mm-hmm. and option period. Okay. Um, things like that are important. Your inspection. Mm-hmm. So come with something. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, okay. So tell me this. So mm-hmm. is it like um like uh like a number you could give just mm-hmm. the general person or it depends on you know Again, the price of depends. the house, the location, the taxes and all that? It depends. Are you referring to her to like a down payment or just Yeah, cuz that's going to always be everybody, you know, biggest How much money do I have to have? Yeah, to move in, I need to know, you know, just like when you're looking for an apartment, like what is going to cost to put me in this house? So it does vary, okay. right? Based off of your situation, where you are with your credit, mm-hmm. things like that, um whether you want to resell or a new construction, mm-hmm. right? A sweet spot for me, if mm-hmm. I if you're just going into it, I would say about eight thousand. About right? eight thousand. Okay. However, it doesn't mean you can't get a home with less. Right. Um, there are communities that will pay all your closing costs. Mm. You know, it just depends okay. on where you're looking. Um, there's communities I'm working with right now that are offering ten thousand. Mm. So essentially, you would get something back. Right. Yeah. Right. If you so don't spend the whole thing, okay. It depends. Yeah. Yeah. It just depends. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. I like mm-hmm. that. So, hmm. Let's see. Can I ask this? So, as in these four years, mm-hmm. you've had some success. I want to say. Have, okay. Yeah. Okay. You didn't help some people get into I some have. homes, and okay, that's cool. Yeah. I, I know that got to be a good feeling. It is, especially, you know, the home buying process can be tricky. Mm-hmm. Um, like, uh, it can be very tricky, especially when you're dealing like with like resales mm-hmm. and things like that. The yeah. sellers may have some issues, but once you're sitting at that table and your buyers are signing those agreements and you see those smiles, it's okay. very satisfying. That's dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Putting, a, putting a family in the home. Like, that yeah, part. this way y'all going to be for the next, you know, few years. Yeah. yeah. Sell it like, you know, if you want to yeah. refinance later or mm-hmm. pass it down to your children, right. you know. 
Yeah. Now, speaking of that, so you mm-hmm. hit on a point that I'd like to ask about. You said as far as passing it down. Mm-hmm. So just say, I'm looking to sell my house. Could okay. I speak to you about that as well? Absolutely. So you can help with that as well. Yeah. Okay. I like, prefer buyers. Right. Just because that's my niche. Right. However, I do help with sellers. I okay. have help with sellers. Yeah. That's I'm like, a process. Too. You know, everybody getting old and grandma's in the neighborhood, the property value going up, grandma passed. Now mm-hmm. the kids like, what are we supposed they to do? Fighting over it. Exactly. I got you. So, yeah, so a lot of families can't maintain, like, mm-hmm. hey, we're going to rent it out and now uh, let's hear mm-hmm. cousin Jojo want to Even though that's a good idea. Like, it's a, I think it's a great idea. Rent it out. Keep yeah. that residual. Man, yeah. Because yeah. it's all about property and land and stuff these days. Mm-hmm. So do you deal with land as well? Like if I want to buy a lot or looking for I one? do. I've never dealt with land mm-hmm. on its own. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's something I want to get into myself. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I do deal with it. I do know experts who are more experienced in that right. area. Right. But it's something I do plan on getting right. into. So sure. if you had to, you could... At least introduce us to somebody Absolutely. that okay. I would want to do it. Well, right. Shoot, even okay. if this is my first time, I'll still do right, it. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, get the full experience of it. Okay, yeah, yeah I like that. I like that. So let's see, let's see. So are there any kind of breaks for like, just say a senior citizen or somebody that was older? Like, is there different deals that they make and get that uh, yeah. first time buyer can't? Yeah. So. I'll say this. Those are lender questions, mm-hmm. right? When it comes down to the money and all of that stuff, mm-hmm. I usually let my lenders. But I will say that there's something for everybody. Okay. You just got to know yeah. who to go to. Yeah. And don't rush it. I feel like you shouldn't rush it. Like, what do what you think the, the home buying process should take? Like, if I got to go actually physically view every home and then make the decision, like, shouldn't it take <laughs> some time? Or you think that's like, oh, you can do that in well, two months? Well, some people, so to close, it takes approximately 30 days. Mm-hmm. Um, if something comes up with title, it could take longer. Mm-hmm. You do have some people who close in 20 days or less. It really just depends on what you have going on and your motivation to close. Do you have time to go shop and look right, at every single right. house in the city? Are you trying to, are you relocating, mm, you know? Right, so it yeah. varies, okay. honestly. Okay, okay, yeah. That's interesting, though. Mm-hmm. I always thought about that. Because, yeah, I know I want to get into real estate, but it's a lot you got to learn. It's a lot you got to be prepared for. Mm-hmm. So is there, uh, like, a target credit score or? For home buying? Basically, yeah. So. Like, I shouldn't even talk to you unless my credit is this. Well. Right? No, talk to me no matter what your credit is, Mm, you know what I mean? Because you won't know what direction to go, Mm. right? I'm the expert in Uh, that. There you go. Right. So um, if you have, some people feel like their credit isn't good enough. Oh, my credit is a 560. Mm -hmm. You could could essentially start a home buying plan at 560 or lower. It just depends. Mm -hmm. Right now there's a community. um, I'm working with a client right now who is getting her credit fixed for free. Mm. Because she's going to purchase a home through that builder. Oh, really? Right. So it's not exactly where it needs to be, right. but because she's purchasing it through them, they got her on a plan. And mm. um, in some cases, you can even go under contract, like if your home is being built. Yeah. Right. So it, no matter where you are, you could still start, mm-hmm. you know, and I would just say, don't touch anything on your credit. Don't touch but anything. Don't touch anything until you know. Because mm. you could mess something up. Right. Yeah. Thinking you're doing better, but you're actually making it worse. Just stop, consult your realtor, right. talk to a lender. Okay. Yeah. And you need you a, a good trustworthy realtor. You that know. Part. We're not, you know, we're not gonna downplay nobody, but it is some realtors out there that will just take advantage of you if they can. Yeah. I'm like, sad. don't move these people in these houses and you know they can't afford these mm-hmm. houses like come on they it's they about a dollar yeah i don't think it should be like that i think but i, I definitely think these are very important conversations that our generation mm-hmm. needs to have we mm-hmm. need to always be building generational wealth try to get you some property get you a home because mm-hmm. i know people that um they rather lease you know they don't want to yeah. really commit to anything what's your views on this person that's like now nah, i think i'm gonna just lease me a house what you think about that? okay would you rather 
pay your own mortgage and build generational wealth for yourself and your family? Mm -hmm. Or are you okay with contributing to somebody else's generation? Exactly. So that's in a nutshell. That's, yeah, that should be a no brainer. That's right? like, yeah. 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 And, and then the criteria for renting these days oh, man. is crazy. What? You got to make 3.5 times the rent. Man. And um, credit score has to be. Uh, six six twenty. You know what I mean. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it get essentially it's less than yeah. that to rent a house. Yeah. I mean to buy a house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I always compare a uh, mortgage price to the what people are paying in rent. Mm -hmm. You paying in rent to rent a three bedroom house, nineteen to two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. You know what I'm saying, and that's in the worst area you could probably think of. Right. So. And then you got to follow all they rules. Mm -hmm. They going to set the standard. You you know, no pets and all They pick and, and choose that. when they come and do maintenance Man, and all this other that's stuff. Terrible. So, yeah. so it seemed like it's always a better deal to go, you know, slow down and try to buy you a house. In my opinion. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It works out better, in my opinion. You know, some people have their preferences. Um, but if you're going to go through all of that, why not set yourself up, set your family up? Right. Yeah. Okay. So what about like um when should I start? Now. 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 Right? Okay. If anyone, when should I? Now. Right. Right yeah. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because they say the best day to start doing something positive is yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Even better. So what about uh as far as age wise? So mm -hmm. I just graduated high school. I'm, you know, 18, 19. Mm -hmm. Should I start looking into it now? You can. Mm -hmm. Um it's one of those things where you have to make a plan if, mm. if it's in your best interest. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because if you're still trying to go to college and pay off some student loans, yeah. I don't know if you got time to be Again, to... that's a, a lender conversation, okay. especially if you have, like, loans in the mix and things like right. that, if that's yeah. even possible. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that may be a lender question as well, but you'll What's be able to question? tell me. Like... When they say, like, when you talk to certain relatives or talk to anyone about buying a house, they're mm -hmm. going to tell you, um, okay, but if you finna buy a house, you better stop everything. Stop. I, I'm like, what you mean? Man, because they finna look 10 years into your bank history, what's going in, what's coming out. They get that thorough with it. You ready to buy a car? Don't buy the car. Don't, don't buy the car. Don't buy the car. Get the Just house before wait. the car. Hold what you got. Because mm. what's going to happen is it'll affect your DTI, your mm. debt-to-income ratio. Man. Which affects what you'll be able to get approved for if you'll get approved. Right. So just stop. Hold what you got until mm -hmm. you figure out where you're going. Okay. Yeah. What about the um, the multi unit properties? Do you double double in those? Hurt. I haven't, mm -hmm. but it is a goal. Mm -hmm. It's even a personal goal of mine. Mm -hmm. um, I like the whole four three two one right. thing where you start with the quad and mm -hmm. try and. Yeah. yeah, and I like that too. Yeah. I, I really want to get into that. That's that's uh, very interesting to me. I want to do, do me like a duplex or something. Yeah, I think that's cool. And then if you have family or friends, in the meantime, if they need, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, you might so, well pay me. You gonna go pay them people? Exactly. I'm like, man, come on. Cause, exactly. Yeah, and there's so many different avenues to do that. Cause like a lot of people don't really want to be a landlord and deal mm -hmm. with people face to face. But I heard that, like, it's websites that, like, management companies that are manage mm -hmm. your property. And, yeah. and, you know what I'm saying? And you only have to deal with them people. Right. Or even your real estate agent. Like, I myself personally took a course for property management. Is that that's right? something I want to do also mm -hmm. for myself as well. Right. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, if you know a realtor, you're already paying them mm -hmm. to handle your real estate, you might as well, hey, would you mind managing, managing the property? property. Yeah, I never exactly. thought about that. There so you, you so you going to sell me a house and help me and manage, manage it? And manage it. Oh, Come you on. everything in one. I one stop shop. All oh, yeah. yeah. See ya. See ya. Make sure. Y'all, yeah. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. got to get in with Miss Monica because she, yeah. she, she the total package and that's what we need. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got a lot yeah. like that. I and like I leave with integrity. I'm not going to mm -hmm. allow you to make a decision that doesn't fit your situation. No matter mm -hmm. how bad you want yeah. Um, as a realtor, we wear many different hats. Mm -hmm. We're the confidant, we're the counselor, in some cases financial advisor, you mm -hmm. know, that's our lender, but you know. Right. Yeah, but yeah, but I mean, they gonna ask you though. Exactly. I know that's for the lender, but they gonna ask you just because yeah. you know somebody gonna corner you off like, just just be honest with me. Would would you is this a good right. you know what I'm saying? So And I'll be like, 
I wouldn't if I were you. And that's you but know? that's what we need. We need somebody with integrity because them yeah. lenders is like bankers. They think about the, the number amounts. So I'm like, yeah, but when you have trusted lenders, mm-hmm. you know they work for you too. Like mm-hmm. we work for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um, I have a, a preferred lender. She'll pull out all the stops if that's what you need. Yeah. You know, and you just need. Uh, real estate team behind you that is willing to just be honest, not mm-hmm. just trying to push you in something because we get paid, right. you know? Okay. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, because I'm the type where I want you to lay it all out for me. Mm-hmm. Lay it all out for me and explain it to me step by step. Because right. in my mind, in the average person, you know, in our generation, we're finna make a 20 to 30 year commitment buying a house. You know what I'm saying? The average person, you Mm -hmm. know, making a normal amount of money a year, Mm -hmm. it's going to take a while for us to pay this house off. So we're terrified going into it. Right. So we got to find a good, honest realtor that's Mm -hmm. down to earth that understand, look, I came from where you come from or around the corner. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what I represent, what I want to represent. Even um, with my brokerage, Braden Real Estate, we Mm -hmm. represent um, luxury you know, um, polished image. Mm. And even though I carry myself in that way, mm-hmm. I, I'm from the hood. Right. We from the hood. Real you know tough. what I mean? Real tough. And I relate to everything. And that's right. why I wanted to get in front of people. Like, I know you're scared. I get it. But mm-hmm. it's really not as complicated as mm-hmm. it seems. It is... Um, Thorough, mm-hmm. but it's because it's one of the biggest purchases you'll ever make it in is. your life. It is. It's the biggest yeah, purchase to exactly. me. If you ask me and anybody else, outside of kids, talk to, well, you know, yeah, yeah. that's a dad. That's for <laughs> yeah. sure. Eighteen years <laughs> outside at least. of that's a child. At least. Yeah, yeah. But so I can understand why it's intimidating. But mm-hmm. it's as simple as just asking the questions. Don't be afraid to ask. Mm-hmm. No question is a dumb question. Mm-hmm. If we don't know, we'll figure it out. Right. You know what I mean? And stop listening <laughs> to your aunties and your uncles and your people who don't Man. know nothing about it. Because them, look, I'm going to say this, because them people probably love you, but they haven't took them steps to try to mm-hmm. do what you're trying to do. You know, mm-hmm. you, you're trying to start generational wealth doing something that your family probably never did. Mm-hmm. Nobody in your family ever passed the house down or owned right. multiple homes or a duplex or anything mm-hmm. like that. So you really jumping out there doing something totally new that, they don't have experience in it. Right. But they just like, I don't know. That's you young, you don't know, or you know, I what got you denied, so you're mm, gonna get denied. Yeah. Don't, don't speak that negative. Yeah. Don't put that negative energy and you don't, on me. And let's say you do get denied somewhere. Mm-hmm. Just because you get denied over here doesn't mean you're not approved over here. Right. You know, um, some communities only go through uh so one form of standard rates, whereas like a lender, they may check here, 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 you know, mm-hmm. and then everything changes and fluctuates right. over time. So when you went, the market was like this, but now that I'm purchasing, yeah. the market's like this. And so. that's so serious about that market fluctuating. Mm-hmm. It took, man, about three years ago, I was looking for a home and they were telling me, yeah, it's bad, you might want to wait. <sighs> And I was like, man, that's crazy. And that- you listen to them? Yes. No. Because uh-huh. yes. I'm at like, you. that shit really do go up and down. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Do you but own a home now? No, not you're, right now. Not right now. I'm sure it's coming in the future. Oh, yeah, for sure. But you would have been for in the sure. house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I wouldn't have hesitated. Mm-hmm. But I ain't gonna lie, my 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 the realtor I was dealing with, you know, she What's didn't know me. Girl? I met her through somebody and uh-huh. I don't know. It's like I'm saying, ma'am, this this what I'm looking for, <laughs> this what I can afford. You right. showing me this shit that's uh, out of my tax bracket, I'm like, nah, we just wasting our time. And, and it's because they want the money. Yeah. And and that's another thing. I'm not against working with people that are maybe in a lower price point. Mm-hmm. You know, every we all need help. Mm-hmm. I'm not just going to, you know, um, how do you say, <sighs> choose not to deal right. with yeah, you. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. God has blessed me with a lot of patience, mm-hmm. you know. I don't like my time getting wasted just like the next person. Know, but if you need a little bit more mm-hmm. hand holding, right. I got you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. So we coming to you. We definitely coming to you because there's a lot of people that need their hands to be mm-hmm. held, man. Because like, I got you. like we just said, it's terrifying. Mm-hmm. That is terrifying. Like I'm finna go buy a house. Like. Mm-hmm. It's a big step, even mm-hmm. especially for me. So let me speak for me, and <laughs> maybe ahead. and maybe they can you know feel mm-hmm. where I'm coming from. 
So I'm a man with no kids, right. no wife, nothing close to all that. So mm-hmm. it's like I'm finna just go buy me a house when the 60 year old, the 50 year old men are telling me, say, man, you don't buy no house because your woman might not like that neighborhood. What about where your kids gonna go to school to? And then I listen to the women that's in on their older age, just mm-hmm. more experienced. They, well, yeah, because your woman might not like that house. She gonna think you've been running women through there. So everything is telling me to <sighs> hold on, don't buy you a house yet. Wait, try to, you know what I'm saying? Really get a feel for it. Get, get a partner first, basically. Like, I feel like I shouldn't have to wait on that. I'm not finna wait. For somebody to yeah. validate me to, you know what I'm saying, go get me a house. Yeah. Do you think, man or woman, mm-hmm. they should be able to go get them a house if, you know, yeah. they can afford it, of course. Go get it. Like, right. I'm thinking of it like a business move. Yeah. You know? I don't think, think you should go emotions. into that process, that part. I don't mm-hmm. think you should go into that process thinking of pleasing somebody you don't even, you haven't even met you yet. You haven't even you know? met. Exactly. Like, so. No. That's ridiculous, mm-hmm. in my opinion. And let's just say you do uh, get hitched and mm-hmm. you find a woman or whatnot. Like, for one, if she's for you, mm-hmm. she'd understand the move you made. You and go. then if y'all want to take that property, you and can make then, an investment property yeah, and then go. buy somewhere we else. We can rent this out and move somewhere else. She I'm be like, like, I found a good man. <laughs> you feel me? This man, he got a house yeah. and we moved out and we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, that's, I yeah. don't know. But that's the stuff... Y'all shouldn't be listening to mm-hmm. people trying to, and it's more than likely because they never saw it possible for themselves. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's easier to bring people down, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, then, um, then telling them, yeah, go try it. Exactly. Then I ain't never try it. Like, you're yeah, jumping the pool. Well, oh, they don't want to see the next them. person succeed because they didn't succeed. And it may not be like any ill mm-hmm. towards you, it's just mm-hmm. that's our mentality, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, we can tear each other down like crabs in a bucket. Trying and not trying to. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's always crazy. Yeah. But I don't know. It, it, we just out here living and experiencing it. But I like to see people <sighs> in our, uh, you know, in our age group trying to do this these new things because mm-hmm. this really was unheard of. Just say seven years ago or whatever. Mm-hmm. Wasn't nobody out here worried about buying a house or listening to these podcasts? At least our and, yeah, because you know the saying? podcast thing is new yeah, too. It's yeah, it's a lot of information out here, mm-hmm. so it's just about picking out, you know, who you should listen to, who mm-hmm. you should consider, you know, as an honest or trustworthy person. Right. So that's why with this, with my podcast, I'm mm-hmm. trying to be as honest as I can, which I, is good. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching who I bring on here. You know, mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't, I don't want nobody coming on here spreading lies and giving out bad info. That part. You know, I need some genuine people come on here. And let's try to push this message out. I'm gonna learn something. I appreciate it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, it was dope. So when I was like, yeah, I hope that she gonna come on here and you know enjoy Man. herself because <laughs> we finna put out some information and try yeah. to help these people. We gotta help our people, our and people. that's and. What I was saying earlier, you know, my cousin introduced me to real estate. That's why I got into it Mm -hmm. in the first place. But the reason why I stayed was because, oh, our people need this. Yes, we do. We do. We definitely do. Because I know people with money but don't know what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Don't know how to invest. Real estate is going nowhere. Man. Nowhere. You got to buy this land. It's, it's like here. your car gonna break, but the land gonna the be land there. I'm gonna give a damn if the house burned down. You still own the lot. <laughs> you still got the lot. You still got the lot. Build something Build else something on else. it. Build something else. Put two man. houses on that lot. I hate to yeah. see people lose, you know, their mm-hmm. grandmother's house and things mm-hmm. like that. It's like, man, you gotta hold on to that stuff if you can. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you got property six hours away in another city, like, ain't too much we're gonna be able to do about that. I'm like, that's good for you too, though. My I mean, grandmother you know, has, um, she passed away when I was like 11, my great grandmother. Mm-hmm. And uh, she has, I couldn't even tell you how much land, I think it's a few acres Damn. out in Lincoln, Texas. Mm-hmm. And every other year, like I said, since I was 11, we would just have our family reunions there. That's dope. And it's ours. Got yeah. the horses out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just ours. That's a blessing, though. Mm-hmm. To just have it to, to just a getaway. If of, I want to you know? drive and I don't know where to go, I know I can go down. Yeah. I wouldn't want to. It's crickets and all yeah, that stuff yeah. out there. But <laughs> <laughs> you in yeah. the country for real. Yeah, huh? it's country, country. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's funny. But yeah, yeah. Like I say, it's very important. I think that's dope, though. I think. Mm-hmm. What you trying to do is cool, you know what I'm saying? It. So yeah. So you so you work with a lot of people. Have you ever worked with anybody you know? 
Does, does that get kind of weird? Clients. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So so tell me this. So let's let's go and get into it. So sure. are they are they looking at you like I know she gonna look out. That's that's my people. Let's see if she gonna really you know what like I'm saying. Like on some scamming. No, we oh, can't never okay, do that. Okay, we ain't okay. going to jail. No, that's but you know, what I'm everybody saying. I don't, want a favor. Like you giving them. We don't the, condone the, scams. Nah, the, nah, but nah, not over I have there. had people oh, get because mad they know you me. Ain't, you know what I'm saying? No, they more so think I'm like a genie or something like that. It's gonna like, be magic. Huh? Yeah, just because you yeah. know me doesn't mean the process yeah. isn't still the process. They don't want to do no work. Just make it happen. Give me another thirty days for sure. No, like, you gotta work. Yeah. You, you gotta, gotta work. Yeah. You gotta do. You have to do your part. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Wanna. And I'm very um, blunt when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. Be honest with me, because mm-hmm. whatever doesn't come out in the wash it's will gone. come out in the rinse. Man, come on now, say it again. Yeah, I and it's like that. I'm. This is a judgment free zone. It I'm not here be. to judge you. Yeah. You know what I mean. Um, but I just need you to be mm-hmm. help me help you. Right. Right. So. Mm. Never know one getting mad, but just people thinking I'm like a mm. fairy with a wand or something. Right. So mm. you actually going out here like you have to physically show the houses when you doing stuff, or are you working online? Like how you do yours? I've done both. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you prefer? Whatever makes me the most money. <laughs> no, real. but seriously, I don't mind either. I have done virtual. Yeah. Um, just go to the house, show it virtually. Um, mm. I've also done in person. This is Houston, mm-hmm. so you know traffic and Man, gas terrible. and all of that. That's why I'm like, it sounds that sounds terrible. You know, <laughs> uh, like I'm I'm showing you these four houses Saturday. Like Houston is big as hell. We really finna drive to four houses. Yeah. For somebody to be like, oh, I didn't like this one, can't afford this one. Well, oh, I didn't like this one. You know, you you can only show so many mm-hmm. at a time. Mm-hmm. Um, and then at the end of the day, I make my own schedule. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I definitely want to be accommodating to my client's schedule, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's my fiduciary duty. Like, mm-hmm. I work for you. But um, if it doesn't make sense, or let's say if you say you're looking for a house, two-car garage, mm-hmm. but you saw this other house, one-car garage, but you like the life it's just we're mm. not finna that's a waste of our time right. for you to go look at just and just you some, know you're not gonna get it yeah. you know what I mean so mm. I, I like that I like stuff. that restroom let me go see that house but I don't like the area or nothing right. else about it why are you wasting our time you just window shopping at this why point? are you wasting our time yeah. look online for that mm. you know what I mean um, and I, I do think a lot of people kind of fall in love with the idea mm. of home shopping mm. So we have to like weed those kind of people out, you know. Like, mm-hmm. are you ready, or you just wanna, yeah, like you said, window shop, right? Yeah. So like, is is there like a um, like an application process or like something I have to show you before you start physically showing me these houses? Like, do mm-hmm. I have to prove to you I am? Able to, you know, make a purchase or, you know what I'm saying? Even yeah. start the whole process. You got to get pre-approved. And then we can start looking and for then, stuff. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. we can start looking. And um, what we were speaking about earlier, the NARS, the mm-hmm. NARS settlement, mm-hmm. it's now going to be a process that we make sure we have an actual agreement mm-hmm. before we show houses. Okay. I'm practicing that now because I don't, I got to stay ready, so I don't got to get ready. Right, right, yeah. But that's not like it's way more better for y'all. So y'all that's, waste less time. If, yeah. Exactly. Mm. You you have to be serious. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's dope though. Cause I don't feel like you should waste nobody time. I'm yeah, like, nah. But it, it come with the. Yeah, it it's kind of like it's, like it come with the job. Yeah. Like, come on, now. it come with the. You gonna take a few different little risks, and you know, but the rewards and like it's you know, it's worth it if you're in it for the right reason. Mm-hmm. Um, I say if you're in it for the money, the money is good. It can be good, right? But if that's your driving factor, you're gonna get burnt out. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes clients are emotional yes. and they're upset because they're, you know, it's taking their time. And I get it. It's lengthy, but it, it, you can't get burnt out if you don't have a passion for it. So speaking of the emotional aspect, mm-hmm. like, give us the inside scoop. Like, what's something, something crazy you didn't, something that happened where you're showing a house or dealing with somebody Well. I don't know. There's something outrageous. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, like it never happened, like in a like an actual showing. Mm. Um, but Maybe I was something you heard about. Well, it it was my experience. Okay. And it was my first ever sale, mm. 
and everything was looking good. I had been working with these clients, did the credit building with them, mm. and they had been turned away by other um, agents. Mm. They basically had no luck. And I was like, you know what? I'm here. So I, I worked you. with them, got their credit, started the process. Mm. In the process with this seller, they found the home. Mind you, they found the home because mm. they were driving around looking on their own also. And they found the home and they wanted it. I'm like, are you sure? Mm -hmm. They were like, yeah. So I went through the process, dealt with the seller's agent, blah, blah, blah. Three days before closing, title comes back. Mm -hmm. They have two liens on their home. On the home that was that they were trying to buy. Well, so a lien is basically it, you owe money. Mm -hmm. And during COVID, a lot of people were doing the um you know, the mortgage assistance. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah through yeah, the government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But essentially, they were putting liens on their home yeah. and they didn't know. Mm. So when it came up, the sellers didn't have the money to get out of the lien. Mm. My buyers, their lease was already up. It was mm. crazy. And then... So now they finna be homeless. So they like, they frantic. So like, they were stressed. And, and I felt so terrible. It was to the point where I was like, you know what? This is my commission. Because um, the sellers had to pay off. We ended up trying to do a short sale, mm -hmm. which left them with like a remaining balance of X thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'll even give up part of my commission because I really wanted them in that home. Right. And that's what you get when you get a realtor. Right. Because I'm looking through. at you like, you know, not saying I'm going to be giving all of y'all yeah. money. But that, it was, that was a blessing. You know, I really yeah. felt for them. Mm -hmm. And long story short, it didn't happen. So we had to pivot mm -hmm. and get them in another home. And we were able to close in less than 30 days on that home. So, oh, really? unfortunately, the process took almost 60 days, but once we got them to that finish line, they couldn't be more grateful. Yeah, that, that's cool, though, because mm -hmm. you stuck with them, and y'all, you know, y'all just had stressful. to adapt and figure it out. <laughs> it yeah. was stressful, yeah. Nah, yeah, that's cool, though. Mm -hmm. I know I seen someone, I thought it was funny. I thought, I thought, um, I said, I know that was scary. Like, this lady was showing a house, mm -hmm. and it was like squatters inside the empty house. Oh man! Like, can you imagine that? You open the door, I can't like, imagine oh, it. Like, I can't imagine it. Man, yeah. I say, man, I'll be walking behind that lady, like, man, like, you want me to move in here? Like, <laughs> I, somebody like me, I would have been like, let's get up out of here. Yeah, like, well, you better. Mm -hmm. Some shit better safe than sorry. Yeah, yeah but I mean, then you know, hey, you got people in this house. Yeah, you know, I would call the police or something. Yeah, being a realtor is actually. A little scary, you know, because you know, open say it. house. I'm wondering, though. It is yeah. though, so we have to go through trainings on how to protect ourselves mm. too. Because um, y'all got to get there before the people come to view the house, make sure the lights on, and you know, kind of you want to do a quick little walk, walk through, because yeah. yeah. you ain't really locking the door behind yourself. Because oh, the AC but I am. Be on. So I you am. lock the door. Yeah, if I'm by myself, <laughs> I'm locking the door. Because if you come to all you, you know, you'll knock if you're yeah. coming to open house. Yeah. But um, I'm very. I'm not gonna say paranoid, Man, but you gotta watch I'm from the hood. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, I know what could possibly exactly. happen. So yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'd rather be safe than sorry. Exactly. Yeah, nah, that's mm -hmm. dope though. That's mm -hmm. cool. So you enjoying being a realtor. Okay. I enjoy so you done it. gave us a little insight, a little yeah, inside scoop. Yeah. Hmm. What's some advice could you give us? Just off the top of your head. It could be, you know, in any factor of real estate. Any but, factor of real know. estate. Mm -hmm. Um just talk to a realtor. Just talk, talk to a realtor. Them. Just start. Just try. Just start. Mm -hmm. Like don't be afraid of the process. I get it. It's big. It seems intimidating. Mm -hmm. But just talk to somebody. I'm not talking about your uncles, yeah, right. your cousins, the people who didn't have no luck right. for whatever reason, because mm -hmm. your situation might not be their situation. Right. So just oh. talk to somebody. So just try, give it a try. Talk to talk me. To, there you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Talk to me. And where can they reach you again? Make sure we can um, give them your. Yeah. So my Instagram is moving with Monica. That's moving with M O N E C A. Mm -hmm. That's on Instagram and Monica Wallace on Facebook. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah. do you do TikTok? So I had a TikTok 
And one day TikTok emails, we're going to close your account. Ooh, don't know how. Do don't, I don't know. They Try do to. got a lot of different little. Because if you say anything about promotion or anything like that, like they, they will flag It was out of page. nowhere. I just hadn't been on there in a while. Oh, okay. And they, okay. so I hadn't got back on. Mm-hmm. I mean, I do have one, but yeah. I'm not on there. Like I'm on Instagram. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because, yeah, I know I see a lot of realtors on uh, on TikTok, and, you know, they do their little walkthrough videos. They make it look real cool. Like, they have a whole production behind <gasps> That's it. That's another thing. Yeah. And it is cool, but, you know, we get a lot of people like, uh, the price that they put on there isn't what it actually is. Oh. Yeah, so uh, not to shade those people, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? But <laughs> We're going to keep it real, though. Yeah, but you're not getting, like, the actual factual, mm-hmm. you know? So anything I put out is what it is. Oh, I can okay. at least say that. Right, yeah. yeah. At least you're giving us the real number. Exactly. Yeah, because they will say your dream on them. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I see it all the time. They get them I follow views a lot up. of them, yeah. Mm-hmm. They like, yeah, you can move in this house for $2,000. No money down at all out <laughs> your pocket. <laughs> I'm like, how? <laughs> but then you see who's trying to make some money, too, because mm-hmm. they're not going to tell you how in that, in that 20 second video. They're going to yeah. say, click this link, exactly. pay this $80, then we're exactly. going to tell you the formula. So, yeah. Like, and yeah, they're man. making money through TikTok mm-hmm. and all that other yeah, stuff. The yeah. more you look at it, the mm-hmm. more you click the link, the more you. Mm-hmm. So essentially, it's for them. Right. You know? So is that is that um is that helping um someone in the real estate game um like all the different avenues where you can promote yourself online or yeah, like on the podcast you know it kind of it helps right instead yeah. of dropping cards at the gas station and at churches it's like you can just get on the camera and kind of put your message out there or you know what it I'm saying helps. or make a post yeah it helps um I mean my purpose was just wanting to educate people mm-hmm. and you know hit me up right yeah for sure but um. A lot of people still do appreciate the traditional way, too, mm, though. Kind of hands-on, um, face-to-face. So. Yeah. Most yeah. of my clients mm-hmm. and uh, really any realtor, most of the clients come from referrals. Mm, yeah. yeah. So I have gotten a few leads through Instagram, stuff yeah. like that, which is nice. Right. But, you know, people um, want to know who you are. Yeah, that's and usually that's say, through yeah. referrals. Yeah. yeah. I take it better from a referral because yeah. anybody can present anything online and you look uh, sophisticated. You look like you know what you're mm-hmm. talking about. Yeah. We don't know until we actually get into it. Exactly. I would love to speak to someone that dealt with you before. You know right. what I'm saying? So how was she? Did she contact yeah. you? Was she, you know? Exactly. Yeah. How was the communication yeah. process? So, yeah. So that's why I try to lead with integrity, mm-hmm. honesty, all this stuff. So when you talk to the next person, they yeah. know that's what I'm about. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I I I will refer somebody like if I de- if I found a good relative which is rare, mm-hmm. I would definitely say, hey, mom, dad, a cousin, an auntie, mm-hmm. a coworker, a stranger, mm-hmm. y'all should deal with this woman. Mm-hmm. She has integrity. She knows what she's talking about. She's mm-hmm. about her business. Mm-hmm. Cause it's hard to come by these days. Is know? it really that rare? Cause I've, I'm hearing that a lot, mm-hmm. and I'm like, dang. Yeah. Cause you you would think people. Operate like you until you realize they don't. Yeah. So is it really rare to find a good answer? Yeah, yeah oh, I man. think so. I think I ran across three so far, and it was just, and I just felt like a number. I didn't feel uh, like a real person. I hate you know that what I'm feeling. saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it take it suck all the life out you, all the confidence, mm, and because oh. when you jump into it, it's like, yeah, man, let's let's go accomplish something. Let's buy a house. Let's do this, and it's like, uh, I'm gonna send you ten. Like what? Um, like you don't care about what area I want to stay in. Well, um, you know what I'm saying. You ain't really asking what, me no kind of insight. It's like, like it's giving apartment locator vibes. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. And um, I definitely went through enough apartment situations. <laughs> I don't want nothing. Yeah, that's close a crazy to that. process too. But yeah. oh no, okay. Now I understand. Yeah. Now, but I understand. but you have heard that before. Okay, I'm glad I ain't the only one with that experience. That, about the apartment locator. No, about the- them realtors that ain't really. You know, they ain't. Genuine. We'll say I've that. heard it, but in different case, like yeah, yeah, of course. It's hard situations. to say it, but well, yeah. it's not hard to say it, but like you know, fraud, like scamming and things mm, like that. Yeah. Things that'll get your license see, taken away, which I don't understand why people see, are dabbling in that. Yeah. And then let me ask you this: mm-hmm. when you say like uh, when you're dealing with lenders, are most of them people like out of state or whatever? Because when I spoke to a realtor and she was like, okay, this company can help you with this loan or this and that, mm-hmm. they were based out of like California. So somebody from California called me like, yeah, we're in California on this street. Is yeah, they normal? can be. Yeah. yeah, it's normal. It's really just who is your preferred mm-hmm. lender. So maybe that person 
came from California. Mm-hmm. They knew somebody who could deal with loans in oh, Texas. Oh, okay. Um, you can be licensed in multiple states. Mm. Uh, my preferred lenders are out here. Right. Yeah, because I got to meet you. I have to see you. That's what you I'm know saying. What I mean? that's, how, that's how I want to feel. I'm yeah. like, I want it in-house. I want it. Face to face, I'm yeah. like, if I can't come knock we on the door, we can go have coffee. You, you know me? what I'm saying with the limit, and right. and that's essentially what they like to do. Like, yeah. really make the whole um, transaction like personable because right. it's big, right? You know? That's what I'm saying. And use me for life, right? <laughs> we don't want to scare nobody, but yeah. we know this is a major situation. This is yeah. a major purchase. It's mm-hmm. like you know, we want you to do it. We want you to learn everything you can because some people feel like you can learn everything just online and just. Mm-hmm. You know, just Google does not know everything. Right. And then I'm like, so shout out Bernard. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so say Google doesn't know everything. Yeah, because yeah, I know some people lay up on TikTok and watch everything and mm-hmm. follow that step by step. Like, this is my blueprint. This lady out of Michigan. I'm gonna mm-hmm. follow this blueprint in Texas and no, because the laws are way. different yeah. and all that stuff. So mm-hmm. no. Speak to a real person. Mm-hmm. We love TikTok, right? But yeah, TikTok love it. Love it. is entertainment. It's taking over today. YouTube. Man, and I think that's kind of why, like, once my page shut down or whatever, I'm like, ah, I'm not even gonna. It's, I'm, it's, it's too much. Yeah, it's too overstimulating. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's definitely a lot. There's mm-hmm. a lot to be trying to keep up with all these posts and what you can say, what you can't say, and getting these emails. I'm like, yeah. bro, y'all watching me like a hoe. <laughs> I'm like, I hate when the little, the little, um, <laughs> the little. Notification, Notification pop up. I'm like, bro. What I didn't did this man, time. Man, that's so <laughs> annoying. So it's yeah. like, yeah, you kind of got to find your lane, and I think mm-hmm. you just got to stay in it. Like, yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm feeling my way through this, though. That's I, good. Yeah. I was, when I seen it, I was like, oh, he got a podcast. Yeah. You know, we come from, you know, I know you from. Way back. Way back. We was, wasn't even teenagers. We I was, was like damn now. Yeah. I was like 13, 14. Yeah, young yeah. buck. Yeah. We was young. And young. Now we out here trying to trying start businesses. Yeah, and, you trying know to make a name for ourselves. Time, for real. But that's good. No, nah, for know. real. I love to see it, though. I love yeah. to see it. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, she doing good for yeah, herself. I'm looking same. at your page. I'm like, Likewise. that's what's up. That's dope. Likewise. I'm like, yeah. Then when when you were like, yeah, I'm going I'm to uh, I'm get back at you in April. I'm like, You thought I was good? I'm like, I ain't going to never hear from her. I'm like, all right. She ain't like what I had going on. No, I'm like, all right. It had to make sense. Sense. Not for sure. And I really for had sure. to think about it. And that. I appreciate you for understanding what it was that I was trying to do. Mm-hmm. You know, anybody could do like promo. Yeah. I want to educate people. Right, I, yeah. I want, I don't care for the likes, you mm-hmm. know, just to get the likes. I want people to know, oh, she knows and she'll help. Right. That was the goal. Yeah, nah, yeah. for real. Yeah. And I want them, and that's what my platform is about. I want to give whoever I'm dealing with a platform or where they can come up here and speak on it, whatever it may be, whether mm-hmm. it's, it's your business, mm-hmm. how you feeling, what you're going through, your life experiences. Mm-hmm. That's what I want you to come do. Cool. I'm just going to set up the cameras and let you do you. And if I can elaborate okay. on something or bring a certain energy out of you, mm-hmm. I'm going to do that. But other than that, we're going to you know, put it on film, put it on paper, and put Amen. it out there like for it. the universe, you know. But we've been getting a lot of good feedback. I feel like a lot of people are interested in real estate and mm-hmm. things like that. I feel like they're going to watch this and, you know, learn something and, you know, probably come follow you and see what so. you got to offer. Follow me, y'all. Yeah, Moving for sure. with Monica. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now give it yeah. to him one more time. Give moving him, give with it. Monica. Moving, spell like moving, with like with Monica, M O N E C A. Okay. On Instagram. Yeah, I'll get out of man. This has been another episode of the Speak On It podcast. This is our real estate investors episode. <laughs> <laughs> y'all make sure to give us them likes, give us them follows, them comments. If y'all need to come out here, you got something you need to speak on, get at your boy at the biggest underscore nine five. Or you can follow my content page at We Can Speak On It. And we're going to do it just like this. Uh-huh.